it occurred to me not too long ago that, uh, you know what, inside of most professions, a lot of subcultures and everything, there is a distinct lingo, and ham radio is no different. A lot of stuff has become jargon. A lot of new hams and some older hams uh, don't know. You know, if you listen long enough, and you observe a culture or you observe it long enough, yeah, you're probably gonna catch on eventually. Well, today I'm gonna help you catch on and learn the lingo of ham radio, this time on K6 UDA Radio. Ah, the life of a ham radio YouTube creator. <laughs> I got a life outside of ham radio. I got a life outside of YouTube. And I kind of had to do a little time management thing. So this time, I'm just going to kind of take you through my day. And we're going to talk a little bit about some of the lingo that happens in ham radio. All right, guys. If this is your first time here on the channel, please hit that subscribe button and, uh, and I'm gonna give you all the entertainment and the most entertaining ham radio channel on the internet, bar none. We've got new gear, old gear, all kinds of fun stuff, hot women. Hey, what can I say? So please, Hit the subscribe button right now. It is right below you, that little red button, and hit that little bell notification. It's gonna tell you when I put out a new video. That's a loud airplane. Squirrel. A lot of the jargon that you hear in ham radio today came out of yesteryear, and more importantly, out of the CW world, when everything, everything needed to actually be abbreviated. One that the one thing that actually does absolutely drive me up the freaking wall. Hi, hi. Why? Why in the world do you have to say hi, hi? Now, I get it. If you're writing an email, it's kind of the same thing. Uh, back, in the, back in the day, if somebody was making a joke on CW, well, you know what? There's no inflection. There's no joke inflection. Or there's no way of letting somebody know that something is humorous. So the term hi hi uh, sprang up in the CW world. Guys will be on two meters and they will actually go hi hi like, like that's a thing. Like it's a, a joke. It's being funny. Well, if it's funny, you're gonna laugh and I'm gonna hear it. I don't need to say hi hi. You don't need to say hi hi. So can we just get rid of hi hi unless it's uh, being used in CW or maybe an email. Hey guys, when we talk about a boat anchor in the ham radio world, we're not talking about an actual boat anchor. We're talking about a big, giant set. These things were typically 50 to 75, maybe even a, 100 pounds. Old tube radio sets that weigh a ton, uh, they never break unless you burn out a tube. Antenna party. So what's an antenna party? This is an antenna party. You wanna put an antenna up at your house, call your ham buddies, invite them over, and have an antenna party. That way you can Put the, uh, you can put the tower up, you can string the wire, whatever you want to do, kind of like an old fashioned barn raising. Have a beer and you've got yourself a proper antenna party. Has anybody ever asked you about an eyeball? I'm looking at you, looking at me. If he's a ham radio op, maybe he's not an ophthalmologist, I don't know. But uh, an eyeball is a face-to-face -face meeting. A lot of guys on ham radio have talked to each other for years never met each other face to face. They consider each other friends. You know, you generally, you could be a, a genuine friend. You've never met face to face, but when you get together for that eyeball contact, the expression homebrew. Homebrew means something that's 
built at home. Doesn't have a brand name to it. It could be an antenna. It could be an entire radio. One thing's for certain, the guy building the homebrew thing didn't buy it from HRL. A bird. Two meanings for the bird. Well, actually, three meanings, but we'll go over two of them. The first bird in the world of satellites, they call the satellite a bird. This is a bird watt meter. These things have been around forever, and they are the most reliable way to measure forward and reflected power from your rig out to your antenna. Of course. Squirrel. Your rig isn't located between your legs. Your rig is actually your radio. Whatever radio that is, that's the rig you're running. You'll hear guys talking about slugs in ham radio. No, slugs don't come from the garden in ham radio. This is a slug in ham radio. Slugs are a uh, are this little cylindrical deal here, and these fit in to the bird. Then comes the birdie. What the birdie is is uh, it's kind of Spurious emissions, RF spurious emissions, generally coming off a computer or some other kind of microprocessor, kind of gets into the IF and screws with stuff. Let's talk about DX. What the hell does DX mean? DX is for distance. And what it generally means in the ham community is we're making a contact or we're trying to make contacts with people outside of our home country. So if you live here in the good old USA, you're trying to make a, a DX contact, it's anything that's outside the contiguous USA. If you're working two meter sideband, that is, you're working two meters, no repeaters, and you're say up on upper sideband or even on FM, working a uh, hundred miles away can be DX on two meters. Working another state is definitely DX on two meters. I'm freaking hungry, so we are gonna go visit my favorite burger joint in the whole wide world. Here's one that it's probably really obvious that you guys don't need me to explain this one to you at all. But uh, when guys talk about getting their ticket or upgrading their ticket, the hell do you think they're talking about upgrading their license or getting their initial ham radio license what's a lid well it ain't something you buy and smoke in the ham radio world in the in cw lingo it is a bad operator guy with poor manners so the term lid has become synonymous with uh, basically being an ass wipe <laughs> They do the um, the double double animal style uh, fries and a uh, vanilla shake. Double double animal style fries and vanilla shakes from the eight seventy four first window. Okay, cool. Thank, Thank you. That's good. That is, that is good stuff. Not what I mean about barefoot. Barefoot just refers to running the transmitter without an external amp. You're just running, you know, if you've got a 100 watt transmitter, you're running 100 watts or up to it. If you've got a 50 watt, 50 watts. And if you're down on your little HT, five watts or whatever. VE sessions and we sat and we looked at it and said well what the hell if you don't have a ham radio license and you don't know what a VE is how the hell would you know what a VE session is well the VE is a volunteer examiner and the VEC is a volunteer examiner coordinator and 
these are the guys that administer the FCC test to get your ticket. Guys, I gotta get back to work. Uh, I got a lot more stuff to do today. So I'm gonna cut it off here. We'll pick it up again, part two, with some Q codes and a few other things that maybe you guys wanna know. Hey, if you have any comments or you have anything you wanna know, leave them in the comments below. I'll get to them and uh, maybe I'll put them in part two. I'm Bob, K6UDA, I'm out of here. 7-3, my friends.